Well, congratulations on winning the tournament. You're an impressive fighter. I know that you'll be a great influence on my Johnny. Why, you might even end up having a friendly rivalry. You can spur each other to greater heights. I can see it. You two will become great friends. The best of friends. <laughs> I tell you, I'm exhausted from all the fun and excitement of that tournament. I'll look for my son tomorrow. For now, though, I really should get some rest. And what's rest without a little relaxation for the body, mind, and soul? Fortunately, I'm in the right place for that. Chocobo Bean Popcorn here. Get them while they're hot. I will never forget this tournament. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. See? 
work, Cloud. This is incontrovertible proof that the universe has a sense of humor. Now that you have a fun new partner in Fat Chocobo, you can work together to squash Shinra like a bug. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Mug. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. I thought I told you. No peeking. You have a lot of nerve. How old are you? said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, I can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect you while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Mark. 
You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. Welcome. Anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, you must be the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. His drunk ass has been at the bar for hours now. Could you bring him back here? He's probably three sheets in over at Drunkard's. <laughs> Just over there. My dad's over at the Drunkard's Den. It's just across the street. Wait up, Cloud! Sam caught me up on everything. He said you're gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Walmart. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come. Uh, are we even allowed to walk through the door? Chocobo I'm getting a regulars here, only kind of vibe. Like everybody's favorite chocobos. Get them while they're this high. This is the Drunkard's Den, the best place in Wall Market to drink away your problems. It's mostly the same folks every night, so. Whoa, you can't just waltz in there uninvited. Listen, there are rules for this kind of. Sing it loud. Wait for me! I'm pretty good, but no. Hey, old dude! Huh? Son, is that you? Did you always look so moronic? Well, right back at you. Ugh, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back. Not ever. My life is ruined. It's over. Kill me now. Come on, there's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son. See, I made this bet with the Materia Merchant, a sure thing, but then I lost! And so I had no choice but to steal my heart and surrender my precious inspiration! Your precious insp- who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't got it, but... I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? <sighs> Dig a hole and throw me in. I'm already dead. Dig a hole and throw me in. I'm already dead. I'm up for a round of darts? This is my jam. It speaks to me. Can't have just one. The more you eat, the better they get. Fresh Chocobo Bean Popcorn. <sighs> I don't even really know how people use materia. They're just like huge orbs of... Something. This place looks kind of creepy, don't you think? Like maybe they practice ritual sacrifice? Or... Hey, wait for me! Mm. So this is it, huh? And what do you two want? Uh, uh, I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Inspiration? Oh, that thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what. I'll consider giving it back in exchange for... a favor. Uh, what you need? Something only real men can deliver. Uh, 
I need you to go and give me something from the vending machine at the end. You know what. You know. No, I don't think I... Wait, the sauce. The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. Anyway, good luck. You'll find it in the vending machine at the end. Got it? I'm gonna see some weird shit tonight! I wish I was here with Tifa. No offense, bro. That's it. That's the one. It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait! <laughs> you ready for this? All right. This particular model has secret buttons. Where? Well, I can't tell you. It's a secret. You just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise, like grab it and whip it out. And then you'll be able to see everything. I don't need to whip it out. I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro! Huh? Is this the sauce? I don't know. Come on, bro! You know there are more hidden buttons waiting to be pushed! Oh! So this is the sauce! Neato! It, it's time! The last button! before someone sees you. No one can know that we have it. You're the grand prize winner! Have a special prize! <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Whatever, we got what we came here for. Let's get out of here and head to the Materia guy. Ready for this? <laughs> Let's show him what we brought back from our little trip into the yeah. weird. Oh, it's you two. It's time, bro. The sauce. Could it be? Oh, it is. The sauce. The sauce. Whoa. Never thought I'd live to see the day. It's just sauce. No big deal. Don't sell yourself short. This is only given to one who is truly a man among men. Huh. I know. Damn, bro. That's why you're such an awesome dude. Oh, right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Not here. It's long, long gone. You shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh. Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro. Well, that's that. Time to polish the old orbs. Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. Hey, if you're done here, then get going already. Restaurant up next, huh? Uh, oh, an honor is always, it's sir. It's coming from over there. No, stay focused. We have work to do first. Think of call it a night. Bed <laughs> They're ripping off you. I think this is where they sit. Whoa, 
Man, I like seriously don't know which one to get. I'm a decisive guy, but when it comes to food, it's a different story. Welcome! Feel free to take any open seats. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The Materia guy gave you something, yeah? We want it. Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. For some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply, but I'm not sure what's to blame. Man, I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks. You know, I think the problem could be faulty wiring. Look around you, this place is falling apart. Hold on, you know a thing or two about electrical wiring? Great, that's the serious business. If you're right about this, my beloved restaurant could be a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Let me take a closer look. On closer inspection, it honestly looks fine to me. I'm not seeing anything that might be problematic. Here, eat up. Man, this looks great. I can't. What a shame. He seemed to be enjoying the meal, so I wanted to ask him what he thought. Maybe next time. Anyway, thanks for your help. Oh, and here's a voucher with my apologies. Get the poor guy some medicine, will you? Drugs. I need all the drugs right now. Out of the way. Out of the goddamn hey. way. Hey, about that thing we're looking for. Maybe I should fine tune the flavor more. Give it something extra to punch it up. Now, what did I do with those spices I ordered from Wu Tai? I know there's some left. That should help Johnny first. Huh? What are you still doing here? Your friend looked like he could do with a trip to the drugstore. Or a clinic. Either way, aren't you worried? Huh? What are you still doing here? Your friend looked like he could do with a trip. No one knows how they're made or what's in them. These treats are even more mysterious than the material that inspired them. Don't miss out on these magical icy pops of wonder! Goodbye. 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 Hey! Off my doorstep, you bum! You're scaring away my customers! Sanctuary! Hey, you! This yours? Well... Oh, that a voucher you got there? Should've said something sooner. Come on in. What is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass? Ah, loads of them. I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some delivery. Uh, I'm gonna... I can't very well leave them alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. You're what? Military or something, right? Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. You're a lifesaver. Literally. So, let me see. What needs delivery? Here. I need you to deliver both of these. You'll probably find this guy sprawled out on the ground somewhere. But make sure you check his symptoms before giving him meds. If I had to guess where a sick person to end up, I'd say the toilet. Start by checking those. Maybe ones in the shops nearby? 
you might find the second customer with the drunks usually passed out behind the gym. Can't go on. Would have loved to with Tifa just once. <laughs> Could have gotten the deluxe service at the Honeybee Inn. Son of a bitch puts poison in his food. I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you saved my life. Here, it's not much, but it's yours. No, oh. I'm grateful for your help, but do you think a guy could get a little privacy? Smell. I'm soaked through. It'll never wash off. I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. It's gone. That horrible, pungent scent of food is finally gone. My nostrils owe you, man. Here, my way of saying thanks. Smell that fresh air. Should probably head back. Take it from me. Be real careful what you order from that restaurant. That candy that comes with the summoning materia ice cream. You have an Alexander, don't you? You have to give it to me. Cornell has an understanding of the truth. You know how much power. Only a select few even know. <laughs> Excuse me. And then there was this crazy looking house, right? And it was all like trying to kill him. But then Cloud was all like, beep, beep, boom! Your friend fought a house. A house? Oh, hey! Welcome back, bro! Better already? Yeah, now he won't shut up. Anyway, how'd the deliveries go? I did about as much as I could. Thanks for the help. And great work. Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here, I got something you're definitely gonna like. What is it? Well, it belonged to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook. Boy's been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh, shit! The inspiration! Bingo. You see, all us Walmart and entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession. And now it's yours, because, hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card. 
highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... No way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... Er, I, I, I mean, drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi! You still got the inspiration, right? You didn't lose it? Get them while they're hot. My heart is beating so fast, bro. Like it's gonna burst right out of my chest. Hey, old dude, we're back! Huh? Who are you? You're no son of mine, I think. Special delivery, just for you. Oh, ho ho! My inspiration! You've returned to me at long last! Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is! And it was hard won! I sew dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after. A honeybee in VIP card! I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys. I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude. We are coming! Just one. The more you eat, the better they get. Ready? Hey, how's about this? What are you, crazy? This one's much better. Hot damn, old dude. Did you make this one too? <laughs> now you see why all the ladies love and adore me? Tonight, you're with the VIP. I'll teach you all the right moves, all the ways to make them swoop. Yes, sir! I'll be your most loyal pupil! I swear it! Someone. There's nothing more fun than scouring the racks for the perfect Well, thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real wall market education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh. It's a pity you're not gonna join us, but I swear to you, bro, as an aspiring wall market connoisseur, I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle for you, bro, for you. Because Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come. Inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. My dad is one amazing designer. At least he would be, if he ever actually did some work. <sighs> Dad's the kind of guy who can't work without inspiration. Huh? You want to help us pick a dress? All righty. What do you think of this real skimpy one here? This silky one over here is kind of nice, too. That must be nice. Hey, how's about this? What are you, crazy? This one's much better. Hot damn, old dude. Can you make this one, too? <laughs> now you see why all the ladies love and adore me? Tonight, you're with the VIP. I'll teach you all the right moves, all the ways to make them swoon. Yes, sir! I'll be your most loyal pupil, I swear it! Never seen you before. <laughs> Here to work out? Put some muscle on that bony frame of yours? 
Cloud, been waiting for you to show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him! He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichore left out the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. No way I'm letting you win. and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud, we're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Should probably go see Sam again. If you're ever in the mood for another workout, just talk to Jay or Ronnie. Oh, no muscle cramp. You wanna go, do ya? All right then, bring it on! Are you ready for this? You want a six pack? Then give me ten more! <coughs> You've got this, come on! <coughs> Not bad at all. Your form's looking good! Oh. That's how it's done. I do. Yeah! Feel the burn! Now it's done. Your form's looking good. Not bad at all. You've got this. Come on. That's looking good. Let me see you sweat. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. 
not bad at all. I knew you could do it. You've got to have faith in you guys. It's looking good. That's how it's done. I knew you could do it. You're fine. looking good. You two are doing awesome. Not bad at all. I knew you could do it. You've got this. Come on. You're Come on. I know you've got more to get. That's how it's done. I know you can do it! Your form's looking good! You got this, come on! Yeah! Feel the burn! You got this, come on! That's how it's done! Your form's looking good! I knew you could do it! That's you two are doing awesome! Not bad at all! Your form's looking good! You got this, come on! I knew you could do it! That's looking good! Let me see Your form's looking good! No! Nothing to it! You did it! You really beat me! You gotta be in incredible shape! <laughs> it's unfair that you guys are having all the fun. What do you say? May I have this squat? <laughs> you up for some exercise? I won't go easy on you. <laughs> Who'd have thought it'd be yeah. this close? You're better than I thought. Whoa. So much I can't get enough of those beautiful muscles! Poetry in motion! I believe yeah. in you! Woo! <laughs> How much training do you do? You are. You can do it, Jules. We're rooting for you. You're better than I thought. Woo! Oh man, who's gonna win this one? Poetry in motion. I believe in you. Who'd have thought to be this close? How much training do you do? Yeah, Jules. Show that city how it's done. Better than I thought. Woo! Slow and steady. One. I'm doing you. One. Poetry in motion. Better than I thought. I can hear your muscles crying out. So much training do you do? You are in the zone. Woo! I can't get enough of those beautiful muscles. So much training do you do? You are in the zone. You can do it, Jules. We're rooting for ya. I believe in you. Poetry in motion. How much training do you do? Yeah. Oh man, who's gonna win this one? It's too cold to huh? How much training do you do? Oh yeah, cool. So that's to see how I'm behaving you. Woo! You're better than I thought. You are in the zone. Yeah. Was never in doubt. I had no idea how strong you really were. You truly are something, aren't you? Listen up, everyone. We can be stronger, better. Let's hit those weights. You got it, Jules! Enclave of sand and debauchery. Bet it was an eye opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see.
Hey, look, it's the champ! You know what to do. Take the elevator and head on down. I can't wait to see you fight. We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show! Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem, your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring! Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot. But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne. I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks. Fighters, begin!
try this. Wow. Going in. No holding back. This won't take long. going champ you were in fine form today here's your cut you earned it not here for the cash tell me about tifa ah tifa she's something of a bombshell herself huh girl keeps in shape and boy does it show hey just making an observation that's all anyway seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well, you helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to a rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. At any rate, I've said all I'm going to say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face. 